All right, today I have a 1975 Mercedes 280C, and this is the very early 722.1. All right, this was dropped off by a wholesale account. Uh, it was leaking. Uh, never drove the car. Apparently, it was working okay. So, pretty much, we're just going to be doing uh, some seals on it. So, what I'm going to be doing is pulling the uh, bell housing off and pulling the pump out and I'm going to do a seal job but I wanted to film something on this because where we are now and uh, we've been at this location for 25 years and we were down the street for 27 years and the length the 25 years that we're here I've never had one of these on the bench so it was probably about uh, uh, maybe 30 years or better since I, I had one of these on the bench and worked on it. Um, so again, it's just a seal job. The front seal actually is torn, but uh, I could not believe that I actually found an overhaul kit. But it was very hard to get, you know, the gaskets and stuff that I need. Not much is sold separately, separate for this. So if I do have an overhaul kit that I'm going to be taking the pump o-ring and the gaskets and stuff like that out of. So what I'm going to be doing with this so nothing falls apart, this thing consists of a couple of clutch drums and three bands and I'm afraid if I leave it like this on the bench, take the bolts out and pull it, I don't know if everything's going to come out or what's going to happen. So I'm going to stand it up uh, right here and pull the bell housing off. And then if anything, maybe I'll just put a wrench across it and uh, so nothing else can come out. <clears throat> um, so we'll go over a couple of things uh, on this just real quick. You got three bands. Uh, you have the B1 and the B2 band, which you know, of course going to be leaving in, and the B3. Uh, a couple sets of clutches. Actually, I'll get a little closer and, and I'll just show you right before we set it up. And there's a special socket to get the back nut off. And um, that is peened, so you just got to unpeen it. Uh, use a, um, you know, a, a ratchet, maybe with a little longer than normal handle. Get a little leverage, it'll, it'll come loose right away. All right, so let me get a little closer here. I just want to show you the torque converter. Um, just show you the trans real quick up close uh, before we start. So uh, again, 722.1, 75 Mercedes. All right, let me get a little closer. All right, so as I said, since we're here, 25 years we're here, um, I haven't uh, worked on one and, and it probably may not get one again, so that's why I wanted to film something here. So this is um, your typical uh, kick down solenoid down here. Again, your B1, B2. Here is your modulator, the bands, B3 band. Here is your linkage with, uh, I guess, the neutral switch here. And in the back here, this is the special socket uh, for the back nut, all right? Again, it's peen. You can't just take a gun at it and zip it off. You know, I actually unpeened it and I got it loose by hand. So, you know, back in the day, before anybody was doing that, they put this thing on the gun and then you'd wind up with two of these lugs broken off. And I'm going to be changing the rear seal too, but um, I want to get the bell housing off, but this is no big deal. Just uh, take the uh, flange off, change the seal, put it back, and just watch out for any shims or anything that may be in there. Here is the torque converter. Just to show that to you guys. All right, the neck, it feels okay, so we're just going to go with the front seal. And of course, I wanted the converter here to try the front seal onto the converter neck to make sure it was okay. All right, so I'm gonna stand this thing up here, make sure it's secure. I 
was playing with it yesterday. It seemed like it was going to be okay. And then um, I'm going to pop the uh, bell housing off and kind of go from there. Right, so let me get set up and I'll be back in a few. All right, so we're going to take these bolts out here. And the seal actually is torn here. I can see the uh, spring sticking out. Um, thing feels hard as a rock, so we'll look at that when it comes out. But let's get these bolts out. Whoops. Stand that up pretty good. That all seems pretty secure. I don't know how easy the bell housing is going to come off. I think there is a bearing that this thing sticks on. Okay. Okay. All right. This gasket looks very nice. It looks very intact. I like that. All right, so let me uh, switch back, um, and we'll take the bell housing apart. Okay, so just give me a couple of minutes here. I'll be right back. All right, so we're going to take these pump bolts out here and drop out the body and gears. Okay, so when I took this off, there was a shim, and there's more shims on here. All right, so I'm just going to take this and put this back on here like that. Okay. All right, and that's it. I found a couple of pieces laying on a bench I thought were hard plastic, and it's actually the front seal. So let's take this out, see how even the O-ring is. I got the tank heating up to wash the uh, belt housing. All right, so we've got some washers here and these pump bolts. There's also a ring, a solid ring, that you want to be careful putting this bell housing back on. Not a solid ring, it's a, uh, a metal ring. Okay, that dropped out. this I'm gonna wash up you got your pump plate here are your pump gears you got a bushing in there okay gears seem very nice
right pump o-ring. That of course should be rubber, which it is, but very hard. All right now let's get this front seal out. You can see the seal, here's the this part of the whole seal is missing and there's the spring. So this thing is hard as a rock. Unbelievable. Wow. Hey, there's another thing that just shot out. There's the front seal. Just crumbling. So I am waiting for this to heat up and I'm going to sand out this bushing. Uh, pump is, um, like I said, the neck was okay. So I'm just going to sand the bushing down a little bit and wash this stuff up. And then I'll see what time it is, see if we can at least put the, uh, put the pump body and gears back on or something. Um, but you know what? Over here, let's put this in part, and we'll take that off. We'll take the back nut off. And so here's my socket. Now let me just get my setup for this. that socket for the, for the grooves and that's how easy it came loose but you definitely got to unpeen it all right that's the nut all right so uh, give me a few and um, I'll be back all right, so let's knock in this front seal. I tried the seal on the converter neck, and it's good. All right, so that's going to be ready to go on. Let me back out a little bit. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to put our plate on. Nice clean uh, bell housing here. And I'm putting some grease on the back of this because I want to tilt this thing up. Uh, put the pump in. All right, 
right? So we're gonna set this in place, line all the holes up. There is a master spline here. Okay. That's pretty easy to break the place there. Now I want to get a couple of lineup pins, which I meant to get out and I forgot. Should have them right here. Okay. So we've got a couple of lineup pins here. this on. So I got this ready to go. Alright, let me get a couple of bolts. attempt to push this up in place. These are the two in. Okay. Okay. I push this down, you know, versus using the bolts to draw it up. So I'm doing this about 18 foot pounds. I don't want to get the converter over here. Definitely want to make sure the pump is going to spin.
Very nice. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Set this back up to go back together. Uh, so just give me a few minutes, please. All right. So I'm going to spray some of the high tack here. Clean everything up. shims in place. I have the uh, steel ring grease. I'm greasing this in here now. Certainly never want to force anything down. This thing is sitting perfectly flat. Let me get a couple of these bolts in. Might have to just move this a little bit. There is my light. in by hand now. Very nice. These bolts also do look all the same length. Alright, then what we'll do is uh, I'll just get these in, tighten these down, Then again, we'll um, I'll put the trans four pan bolt, by the way, and uh, the 722 threes were six. I just gotta find a washer, there's a washer missing. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this together, tighten it down, uh, put the trans on the pan and we'll knock the rear seal out. All right, so I just gotta go look for a flat washer here. Um, I'll be back and uh, we'll do the rear seal. All right, so we have the end nut off. So we'll take this out. The shim there. All right, so let's uh, knock this seal out.
Alrighty. This one too. Hard as a rock. Imagine what the inside of this thing looks like with the O-rings on the with the seals on the pistons. Text on that. I'm actually right where I unstaked the nut, uh, right back in the same exact spot. Okay. Alrighty. Let's just get the. about it for this one 1997 280c uh, Mercedes 722.1 and this thing was uh, see as well hard as a rock so they weren't complaining about the way it was working just about the leak so they pulled the transmission out because they were also doing on this car uh, a rear main seal. So they pulled the trans out, brought it to us. Um, and now we'll give them a buzz, it's ready to go. And that's it. So I thank you guys for, and again, I just wanted to film this because I'll probably never get another one. And this is the first one uh, I've worked on, as I said here. And the 25 years were at, uh, at this point. I completely forgot to give you guys a shot with the pan down because I'm putting a pan gasket on this too, but I had to run out. Uh, so I'm back now and I'm just going to finish it up. So I got a few minutes to shoot it quickly. And this is the pan. All right, so rubber gasket. So I'm going to clean that up, clean the bolts up and put it back together 
And again, it's a uh, 1975 Mercedes 280C, 722.1. And we just did a seal job on it. And I'll, again, I wanted to film this because I'll probably never see one of these again, maybe for another, who knows. First one I worked on here in this location. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next one.